plans. The uh, At the Embassy Suites Hotel in St. Augustine Beach on Wednesday, elected officials from across Northeast Florida gathered to voice their opposition to the development of the state parks. They proposed plans by the Florida Department of Environmental Protection. Uh, the, these proposed plans that we all know, including uh, building a, uh, golf courses in some areas, disc golf in our areas, hotels and pickleball courts inside nine state parks, with Anastasia State Park slated for the largest hotel, of course. Of course. Neptune Beach Mayor Elaine Brown criticized the proposal, calling it absolutely ridiculous to develop such a pristine area that's been uh, cherished by families for generations. St. John's County Commissioner Sarah Arnold condemned the state's government's uh, plan as an egregious overreach, highlighting the lack of local input and the hasty scheduling and cancellation of the public meetings. St. Augustine Beach Mayor Dylan Rumrell mm-hmm. warned that the project could cause potentially irreversible damage. He's not wrong. Atlantic Beach Mayor uh, Curtis Ford emphasized the importance of vigilance, noting that similar developments could threaten other parks, like Hanna Park, if not ap- actively opposed. The officials stood united in their stance against the proposed developments. Uh, when asked about the identity of the uh, proponents behind the proposed 350-room hotel the officials admitted they were unaware uh, jacksonville city councilman rory diamond <laughs> uh, remarked that uh it remained a mystery despite ongoing discussions among officials a diamond outlined the initial steps to address their concerns including standing up against the proposal seeking local control over permitting and potentially filing lawsuits Commissioner Arnold mentioned her continuous communication with lobbying teams and Mm -hmm. allies in Tallahassee Mm -hmm. to combat the proposal. Although the press conference was held on private property and restricted to the press, which is why I was there, Rory. Yes, you were there in person. Uh, In person. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Mm. uh, There were protesters there on the beach wearing um, shirts. I mean, demonstrators. They weren't protesting. They weren't weren't protesting the fact that these officials were standing united against the development. But is that why they didn't tell anybody in town that they were going to do this? Because there was Um, a little bit of like, whoa, this is happening? Wow. Yeah, they don't always... I don't know how it works. They don't always give advance notice on press releases to people outside the press Mm -hmm. uh, on press conferences. It needed to be a controlled message. Um, And sometimes when you open it to the public, you don't... You lose that control. Mm -hmm. You get one person that's just screaming stuff out that steals away from the message. And they wanted to be very clear Mm -hmm. that they were delivering to Tallahassee this message. And they... I mean... Uh, that's the reason it was private. like a clear communication, yeah. Yeah. not a bunch of seagulls. Yeah. And I, yeah. and I talked to the uh, supporters outside after afterwards and mm-hmm. you know, said, Hey, this, everybody in there was on the same side here on. And, yeah. And it's, it's happening. Mm-hmm. Know, so, yeah. You know. Yeah. And, and that was good. It was good to see everybody uh, united on that front for sure. Mayor Rumrell's speech was amazing. It was great. Like we need to cut that out and like keep that for when we feel down on our community. That was <laughs> yeah. a, that was a great speech, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, I I thought that I asked the best question of the day. I thought I asked the best question of the day. <laughs> a lot of people asking questions. <laughs> a lot of people asking questions. People asking questions. Nobody asked the questions. Nobody's ever asked this question. Right. <laughs> uh, but, you know, I I, I asked uh, if anybody had been in contact with DeSantis. Uh, most people up there have DeSantis' phone number. Quiet, right? Yeah. And uh, Rory told me, well, I should ask members of the press about that. Well, you are the press. Like, I am I the press. Understand. Stupid. Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah. What happened? Maybe you um, did you wear the badge? You didn't wear I the didn't badge. I didn't wear the badge. No, I didn't wear the badge. <sighs> I made you a lariat and it. everything. You just yeah. put it around your neck and yeah. just press. But they, but then I asked a follow up question. I said, so nobody's been in touch with DeSantis, and there were a lot of head shaking no's. Which that would have been my first call. Right. Yeah. My first call was, "Hey, DeSantis, what's going on here?" But. Apparently that was nobody's first. Has he said anything? I don't, no, true. no, he had, he had a press release yesterday and, and kind of killed the whole project. Really? Well, didn't kill the whole project. Uh-oh. Definitely put discussions off until after the election. Yeah. Oh, so it's really postponed. Yeah. No, and he and he threw blame to uh, someone leaking from the liberal side. Yeah, I'm so tired of DeSantis and the people who back him doing this whole, oh, well, they're liberals in disguise thing. It's so ridiculous. Yeah, they're it's in so the... ridiculous. Let's get back on track, Ron DeSantis. People used to like you two years ago. Let's, let's get back to helping people. I second yeah. that. Yeah. 
Jeez, man. Yeah, you, you I, I, have... that's just such a stupid smoke yeah. screen to well, you throw know, out there. He doesn't have to it run really again. Is. Just do the right thing. Yeah, yeah. No yeah. Matter, just no take matter, accountability, man. No matter what, whatever party tells you, just do the right thing. Right, mm. right. Yeah, uh, it's just, it's a shame. I thought he loved this area. Yeah, yeah. He really doesn't care. <laughs> no, he doesn't. No, no, he he'll, really doesn't. He'll, care. he'll come back here and live. Here. Prove your love. Yeah, yeah. Got to prove your love. Unfortunate. All right. Uh, our final story today, a very sad one. If you were uh, in traffic yesterday, uh, it was tough to get around the city of St. Augustine, especially if you were riding down US-1 because there was... A-